Amen. Let us let us stand for a word of prayer. So we commit ourselves to service and and then we can read a psalm and then we can start worshiping. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for bringing us here, each and every one, safely, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you accept our praise and our worship, Lord Jesus, as we commit ourselves to service, Lord, to service to you, Lord. Create such an atmosphere, Lord Jesus, that, that we could just say, truly, you are with us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask that you be welcomed, Lord. You are the guest of honor, Lord Jesus. We welcome you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all things, Lord. We ask that you take the musicians in your hands, Lord. Those that are singing, Lord. Those who are participating in, in the Word of God. The one who's going to bring the Word, Lord Jesus. We also ask for those that are watching, Lord Jesus, that, you, that they receive exactly what they have need of lord jesus lord we ask all things in the name of the lord jesus christ amen while you're standing let us read a psalm and it's from psalms 62 let us begin my soul wait thou only upon god for my expectation is from him he only is my rock and my salvation he is my defense, I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is from God. Trust in Him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is His refuge for us. Selah. Amen. I'm going to say amen to read the psalm. Amen. Man. Let's, you may be seated and we can start to worship. Man. God, bless. God bless those that are watching here. God bless each and every one who has made it. And may the Lord richly bless you. Would you be free from your burden?
Let us sing. <clears throat> Thank God I am free. Amen. How many are thankful that they are free? Amen. Amen. For a long time I traveled. right now those uh, if you have a Thanksgiving uh, just right where you're at you raise your hands and thank you Lord for all that you've given me wow. thank you for the breath of life thank you for my family thank you for my job whatever it may be uh, thank wow. you for able to work um, you look at your hands your limbs and and say if you feel like jumping in your living room and clicking your heels then do that say thank God you know uh, God loves God would love that. You're worshiping God. Amen. Uh, we're going to go to the to the prayers. Um, I only have two. If, the Lord knows your heart if you have a petition. If you have a petition in your heart that you're going to write down, you can indicate it by uplifting your hands. Those that are watching, if you have something that you have need help, <laughs> healing, you need an answer from the Lord, you need help, and just raise your hand and say, Lord, most of the time is that we don't know the universal sign of uh, surrendering a, a, a desire or a need or a, something that's in your heart. This is your universal sign. Is, I take my hands off it. Lord, I, I surrender. That's what it is. Lord, I surrender it to you. And he comes and he picks it up and he takes it. Don't get it yeah. back. <laughs> don't yeah. pick it back up. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we have... Uh, yeah. A prayer uh, petition here. Brother Ernie Senior. This is uh, we will. He will be having a knee replacement surgery um, tomorrow. We pray for the successful surgery and quick recovery from S Sister Jordan. 
She also has a Thanksgiving for the answering prayer. God blessed us with a new car. Amen. Um, let us take the the petitions, thanksgivings, and offerings to the Lord in prayer as Brother Alex comes and, and prays for the petitions. Amen. <coughs> God bless you. Would you not stop with him, please? Yeah. Brother Stephen, I don't know if there's a preaching uh, spirit on here, but uh, I, I think there is. Yeah. God bless all of you. And God bless you out there. And uh, you're watching us on, on, the, on the internet. We just want to uh, tell you that uh, we're all needy. Okay, so we're going to pray now at this time. And whatever have whatever need that you have, God's already supplied it. You just don't realize it. We don't realize it. But uh, let, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for, for your mercy and your grace, Lord Jesus. Uh, we thank you for the memorial service that we had last night in my house, Lord, remembering uh, those boys that, that gave their lives for, for freedom of this country. And uh, so we're thankful for that. And we're thankful also that you're our big brother, the Lord Jesus, he died on the cross for us, but only, not only did he die, but resurrected for our sins and our petitions, Lord. So this morning we're praying for those petitions, not only for the petitions, but for the salvation Yal Shaddai, that you're the blessed one. And you can restore us to health, our minds, our spirits, our bodies, our souls. Not only restore us, but heal us, Lord Jesus. We're thankful for your saving grace, Lord Jesus, this morning. And we declare everyone healed at this time, Lord Jesus. By your word, we thank you. Give them the faith, Lord Jesus, to receive their healing because. And not only their, their healing, but their salvation. And we ask you, Lord Jesus, also to bless you, the tithing and the offering. And we praise you and thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. And I think Brother Stephen's going to, uh, uh, after his message this morning, a powerful message, I'll be, I'll be giving a little pastoral, about 10 minutes, uh, word on... Not the same thing, but it'll be, I think it'll help because it helped me. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> I forgot to mention it. Um, forgive me. Uh, we had a special request from Nagadoches from Brother Romero. Romero Delgado. Uh, his daughter was diagnosed with cancer. They had surgery. Her name is Irma. And we asked that uh, that came directly from Nagadoches right after we left. So uh, it's uh, just real quick. It's something moving and something shaking over there. That they're starting to send us prayer requests from out and over there. So it's a moving of the Lord, that, that the confidence, and they're seeing that the Lord move. That God is not dead. God is not dead. He's still answering. Healing cancer, healing diabetes, Amen. healing the high pressure, yes. high blood pressure. Or it doesn't matter what it is, is that he's still moving. All he asks is if thou canst believe. Amen. Only believe. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's that's all. <laughs> Let's let us let us sing. Isn't he wonderful? Yes. yes. Amen. 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 How many have had the experience of knowing that he is wonderful? Amen. <laughs> Just look in your past or whatever he's done. You don't have to look in the past and see your forgetfulness. But say, isn't he wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? Wonderful. Yeah. 
know the song says, eyes have seen, ears have heard. He said, well, I haven't gone to the mission field. I haven't done this. But if you can, just look in the mirror. Amen. Pray, Freddie. Yeah. No matter what it is, I don't care what you have done, what, 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 whatever you had trouble with last night or the week before, just focus on him. Amen. And let's sing. Isn't he wonderful? Bless the 
Something special. Amen. Wow. It's good to know that we have a, a God who cares for us. Amen. Cast all thy care upon him, for he careth for you. Amen. That's beautiful. If you didn't know that he cares for you. Uh, let's prepare to get into the word. We're gonna let's go ahead and sing Amazing Grace and prepare to hear to the word and just to calm ourselves down. Amen. Let's sing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. That's true, uh, but but you're here, so why not shine your light wherever you're at? Amen. Amen. I uh, from twelve o'clock to six in the morning. I, I had thought I saved everything and been walking away and got the thumb drive and everything and um, I think I took a half hour nap or whatever it was but I thought I had saved everything so uh, it's it's not going to be on the PowerPoint so you forgive me but we're going to walk through the Bible how, how many can say amen to that we're not going to have a, a push button and there it is for you you're going to walk through the Bible yourself you're going to get the fingers well, if you don't have a Bible, then I guess your tablet or your phone. But uh, it's good to have the Bible, the Word of God at your. And then, um, but I do have what we spoke. Those who didn't come here uh, yesterday, uh, last uh, Sunday, I have the power that PowerPoint there. Um, we can uh, just briefly we'll go through it real quick. This is. Um, We're just going to recap just a little bit. Not to take any time, I won't, I won't start it until we're ready. <laughs> it says 59 minutes, but I, it'll be short. It'll be real short. Uh, we're just talking about the message that, that Brother Ernie, there was many things that actually came up. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm, how do you say the word, fixated on that word perfection. Not that I, uh, uh, not that I'm looking in the mirror and and see myself as perfect or no. how other people are. I'm so perfect, you know. They walk around with their nose in the air. If it rains, they drown. <laughs> not that kind of perfection, okay? Now uh, I know there's certain certain types of faith, and we're all looking and striving for that perfect faith, um, strong faith, weak faith, uh, uh, 
non-wavering faith. But this this word right here, uh, I, I believe it's it's it struck many things in me <coughs> that uh, hopefully it did in you. But for instance, to to be perfect like Christ, we're gonna actually let's, let's stand and let's read a word um, his word. And then I'll shut up. We're going to read the scripture that I'm going to use. It's actually not right here. And then I'll start with, with this right here. So we'll go right there so you don't. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews we're going to take our time we're not going to run <laughs> yeah. right there. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses yeah. wow. Let us lie, lay aside, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this grand opportunity, Lord. We thank you for, for what you're going to do, what you're doing right now. And... The, the things that we don't see that you're doing, Lord, we thank you for that, for moving behind the scenes, moving on the scene, Lord. And, Lord, we ask that you just be here and we surrender our hearts, we surrender our minds, Lord Jesus, that we may, we may receive from thee, Lord Jesus. Lord, my hands are up also too, Lord <laughs> Jesus, asking that you comfort us and all the things that we ask for, that you supply us. All our needs, Lord. You're still Jehovah Jireh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, you provide all we have need of, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for everything. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. amen. You may be seated. Forgive me, I put a mint in my mouth. I said, thank God is a mint, not a button. <laughs> Man, I dragged you along a button sermon. And how many heard about the button sermon? Yeah. <laughs> you haven't heard, Frank? It says, Brother Branham spoke about a faster. He said he always took a mint and he put it in his mouth and it dissolved within a half hour. But this time he accidentally he, he reached in his pocket and put a button in his mouth. Wow. And, and he wasn't dissolving, so he took the sermon for a couple hours and the deacons met him afterwards and said, Brother, this is. See, Pastor, what happened? He said, well, I had to put a mint in my pocket, and I realized later when it wasn't dissolving, he spit it out, and he said it was a button sermon. <laughs> so that's what we call a button sermon. He went a couple hours, and they were they were amazed that the pastor went through there. Amen. Amen. Uh, that, that's just a little bit to break the ice. Don't look so serious, sister. Don't look so serious. Esteban, I know Esteban, he usually pulls a sword pretty sharp and starts swinging it around, but... Uh, I got a lot of serious faces right now. I says, don't be so serious. <laughs> this is, uh, God is good. You have life. Amen. And you have the ability to wow. come here. And, and we're going we're gonna to get into the, whole, the word. Amen. Now, I'm not going to. How many, how, how many believe in the word of God? Amen. 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 Those that read it, uh, that listened and were able to see it. We read Hebrews 12. I, my point was this the, the, the Apostle Paul was speaking about there was so much of a cloud of witnesses as in Hebrews 11 he spoke of all the heroes of faith and all those witnesses Man, yes. that didn't have the written word of God but they had the spoken word of God God spoke to them promised them and they took it by faith and they continued their race and they completed it without the word of God and without receiving the promise without receiving the promises Man. that God had promised yes. um, 
And, and then how much of a greater thing is that we have? We have the promise here. That's true. Amen. We have the promise, Holy Ghost. We have his word, written word. The promised one to come, had come, and shed his blood on Calvary. So, and, and we have a lot to be thankful for. It says, so we're just going to go through a quick review, or just a real quick. You know what helps me? Are you relaxed? Nah. Not too relaxed that you fall off your, 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 your chair and, and uh, we have to call a paramedic because you hit your head or something. Why? Man, but I, how many are relaxed? Uh, yeah. I'm relaxed. Oh, man. I, I beat myself up because I can't believe I forgot my phone drive. Right? <laughs> and then I told our brother Alex and I said, please, I says, I know I messed up. Okay, please. So I, I just want to read this, this one quote. It's going to be one quote, and this will be a beautiful quote. All the quotes are awesome, but this is... Can you put that one up? It won't go up for it? All right, then. Well, I'm going to start it off since it's not up there. So, And sin... I'll get you the title. Things that are to be... 1965 paragraph 61 and sin brought us into the devil's pest house yes. oh but the other one is called my father's house ah. I'll go and prepare a place for you take you out of this pest house oh. and deliver you into my father's house ah. there are so many things he said brother just read it through and said each line could be a message yes, sir. Yes. and every time you read it you, you missed this certain you missed it I missed it yes. but once you read it over again it says oh my goodness another thing pops up it's so beautiful when you can hear something like that you can hear you can read one verse and you catch one little word and then it brings a revelation and that it wasn't even the whole sentence yeah. it says take you out of this past house and deliver you into my father's house this is for those that are watching right now yes just look at yourself and you look at your condition. I'm not here to point out the condition. Just look at yourself. I'm getting older. I'm this. Why do I use My underarm deodorant? Why do I have to spray? Why do I have to shower? It's because the sin. Yes. The sin in the, it happened in Genesis that crept in. It says that. But the but there is an almighty God that is going to. He paid the price to take us out of this pest house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, and to yeah. prepare us. He has prepared us a place that we won't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to have to worry about it. Am I going to offend my neighbor? No. <laughs> you know, uh, you won't have to brush your teeth because you 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 will lose. You're not going to lose your teeth. Right. You know, you have to take care of your teeth because then, you know, yes, sir. you'll get false teeth. <laughs> Amen. Yes. And then uh, you, you don't want to be false. <laughs> you don't want to be false. And say, well, you know, I, without, whatever comes out of his mouth, he has so much false teeth, whatever comes his mouth, comes out of his mouth, he may be false. <laughs> I can tell you about the Italian, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. Say, there you are. Take you out of this old earthly pest house. Right. He's gone to prepare a place, a perfect place, where no evil. Yeah exists no sickness exists no old age exists no death exists it's a perfect place calling you to that perfection isn't that beautiful aren't we just looking for that like abraham and we just read this and i'm just my whole point is is to take our eyes off of our condition yes, take our eyes and all our negative we have so much negativity within <laughs> ourselves i'm serious I, I, I want more hair <laughs> but god took it from me and I, I like samson i really want to talk to him that day mm -hmm. i said you know and, and and some people just embrace it i said i don't want to embrace it but and and I had one, one brother tell me, um, Brother Jimmy, he said, you look like a young Perry Green. I said, well, did he have hair when he was younger? I was like, well, I said, then if I look like young Perry Green, then I'm the bald-headed the bald Perry Green. Wow. Said, but 
I, I, I believe that that uh, I haven't lost one one strand. Amen. Like wow. Brother Branham had said. Right. So, Wow. That all that hair and everything is waiting for me. I don't believe. I believe that I won't even probably recognize myself. I don't even remember myself at my at my youth. Brother Alex had said, "Stanley, did you ever reach?" I'm just talking. I'm not talking, but this is the word. Amen. It says, "Have you ever reached your, in high school? Did you reach your potential?" No, I said, I never even scratched it. Uh, I don't even remember uh, too much of how I even looked. And, uh, and the things that I do remember, I don't want to remember. Wow. Yes, Even as your Father in Heaven is perfect, yes. it's a perfect kingdom. Nice. So it must be a perfect people come. Nice. Because you have to stand and be married to a perfect Son of God. Yes. And you must be perfect bride. So how can you do it through anything else but the perfect Word of God? Nice. Which is... The waters of separation. Yes. Yes. Freddie, um, I don't mean to say, don't, we don't look at our, ourselves, man. We don't look at whatever has happened to us. Right. All we got to do is look at the perfect word. Right. Let the perfect word be in us. Apply that word in us. Many people point it out, but I don't point it out. This is, we, don't, we don't point that out. God covers us. Man, He covers us. It, it, perfect blood covers us, our sins. Amen. That's right. It says, Amen. That's right. The blood of Jesus Christ. Think of it. The dripping, bloody word. Amen. Amen. The blood. The word. The word that sanctifies you. Bleeding blood to wash the bride in. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She stands perfect, virgin, unadulterated she never sinned Amen. in the first place Amen. Amen she was trapped into it Wow. there's the father's house Amen. that he's Amen. gone to prepare <laughs> I wanted to preach on that one that is a good evangelistic yes, message sir. right there Amen. it wasn't you no it wasn't you no no you were trapped into it yes, and and just go off on that and it says uh, you were trapped into it but by, by the first breath that you took the, uh, the breath that you took. It says we we understand that the that the first breath that we ever took, we already wow. were judged to a sentence of death. Yes, sir. Born in sin, yes, sir. shaped in iniquity, and we came out speaking lies. Man. The very moment that we became yes, sir. Uh, 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 judged. Hebrews 12, 11, 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us. Amen. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Uh, those that, that don't understand, those that don't, um, don't remember, what is sin? Unbelief. Unbelief. Yeah. Some people, I'm not a sinner. I'm not a sinner. I, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I says, you don't have to smoke That's a right. drink to be a sinner. That's right. Those are attributes of being an unbeliever. Yes. There's only one sin, and that is unbelief. Yeah. So, so, just to help with that scripture. Wow. And my yeah, whole, like I said, the yeah. whole intentions. And let's go to Hebrews 11.40. Mm reads like this God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect <laughs> and, and, and that's why I said this, that word perfect is, is something that that we just need to get our eyes off of ourselves we don't I don't care you say oh brother that one doesn't care so why should I care <laughs> I don't I want you to understand why I say I don't care. I don't care what you're dealing with. God 
can take that circumstance Man. and erase it, can bring you out of that miry clay if you're willing. There have to be you have to be willing. This is to give that trial, whatever it may be, whatever you're going through, to the Lord Jesus Christ. He can change that very thing. Man. He can change you. Yeah. He can change. He said, well, there you are. You're trying to change us. We have to go through a change. Yes. We have to go through a change. We can't continue. There's something has to change. And there, I thank God there is one thing that is not going to change. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. No, the Word of God is the same. Now, let's go through the reason. We're going to look at a character. This character, if you, if this doesn't open your eyes and say, wow, there's nothing that you can do. I'm taking a slow. All right. There's nothing. Everything that we have done ourselves takes us further and further away from the Word of God. This is a character that should you should fall in love with. And it, it. Let's go to Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. The, uh, they're, they're, the young people may not get it. I hope they do get it. But I know many people uh, that are seasoned, they love this. It says, you had nothing. This man had nothing to do with it. Uh, there's another message. It says, you can, you can preach on this. Says, I am. I will. I have. Don't take that one now. <laughs> Those were one things that I wanted to uh, I wanted to preach on. It says, the God of I have, I am, and I will. There's nothing that says that you. It says, you do this. It says, in, in Abraham, Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, we're going to read. And when Abraham was nine, 90 years old and nine. Wow. 99. Yes. The Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and thou and be thou perfect. This is what this is. And if you were to start, this is so beautiful, this, this scripture. Um, maybe I should stop holding on to the pulpit and then I should walk around. I want to really go off right here this is not go off on a tangent but go this is makes you want to blast off this is a beautiful thing right here a man of 99 years old yes walking perfect can you imagine a man walking 99 year old upright walking perfect in our minds right now we see a 99 man year old walking in the, or not even walking probably an oxygen tank or on the wheelchair that's how we see a person at 99 wow. but this man walked he didn't say roll or use the crutches or limp he said walk before me man it's beautiful that that yes. abraham walked yes. before god uh -huh. and Chapter 17, it says, you can see that God had did everything for man. He was destined, and he was, he was, man, he was good. God was going to do whatever it took to fulfill his word. Nah. And right here, let's go to Genesis chapter 12. The shadow of all things to come. This is this is beautiful. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of the country and from the kindred and from thy father's house unto the land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation. Yes, yes. And I will bless thee and make thee make thy name great. Yes. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curse thee. Yes. And in thee wow. shall all families of the earth be blessed. Oh, now this happened when, and verse 40 says, So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. 
and Abram was 75 years old yes. when he departed out of Haran. Now that alone, it, it'll blow your mind. Uh -huh. Those who are saying, well, I'm this age, I'm that age. It says, how, and, how was it <laughs> that a man at 75 years old, will God call him out of his comfort zone to go wander in a desert? Wow. People would say, oh, he's such a horrible God. What, what, he, he didn't think about the man's age. How frail that he might have been at 75 years old. Now he's going to tell him to go and journey into a land, into a desert. Man. And says, but he took God at his word. By the way, Man. Yeah. if you want to follow there, that was Abraham's justification. Man. That was where he was a man elected, selected, yes. pulled out of Babylon. Man. Pulled out of all the parties. That's right. Pulled out of everything. You can't, Man. and that should blow your mind. Says man. how? How is it that God would do that man. for a man? man? He had nothing to do with it. That's the whole thing. I forgot to tell you the title. That's why I'm getting to it. The title is the same thing. This was weakness, the beginning of perfection number two. So that's why I'm reading of Abraham. It says, wow, because people would say, this is just the character. So if I say a 75-year-old man, people in their mind right now, they'll say, man, this man's weak. But if I tell you that this man is 75 or 78 years old, and you're seeing this man working, this is Brother Alex. Brother Alex, can you come here? Sure. Okay. All right. I'm not doing this just because he's a pastor or he's because my dad, whatever. You're 78, right? Yeah, of course, 78. You're 78. Uh, okay. You're 78. Oh, look, look right away. This guy outworks me. This guy can outwork, he outworks many younger people. And they say he's crazy. All right. <laughs> so when you say a man was called at 75, yes. it blows people's minds. Man. Now they expect to say, well, he's 78. Well, I, I, I brag about him. I say, my dad is doing this. He's digging a ditch. He's tearing down the house. He's building. He's <laughs> I said, don't worry. We know a guy. That's our. That's my slogan. It says, don't worry. If you have a hole in the wall, I know a guy. If you have a house that needs to be built, I know a guy. Yeah. This is, uh, and, and, but, spirit, but physically, that's physically. And spiritually, yeah. it doesn't matter how many holes in your house. Your triune being has Man. your tri-level house. I don't care how Man. much infection or fungus that is among yes. us, right. or how much fungus that your soul has, Man. Man. or the fungus that's in your mind that makes you think incorrectly. Yes. I don't care how dirty and how vile that you could be, Man. or that when you look in the mirror that you see something so disgusting and you and perverted. How did I get like this? I know a man. Man. I know Christ Glory. Jesus, the Word of God, Man. that He only will you take that house that He will take it, He will strip it down Man. according to the restoration wow. that comes in phases. I don't care how many bugs have eaten your life up from the locust, the canker worm, I don't the, to the caterpillar. I don't care how what your condition is. Yes, Jesus Christ can and has restored people in the worst conditions. Man. I don't care what fungus. That you may have had. Yeah, sure. I don't care what the doctors called it. Uh -huh. I know somebody who, who's been healed from HIV. Right. Now there's something that's that's on the commercials. Right. Be 99 percent free. 99.9999999 free from HIV. Take All this right. pill. They've become uh, uh, yes, sir. almost wise. They've actually broken into God's laboratory yes. and been able to start to come up with pills mm -hmm. that will take that away but there, but here's the thing take this pill but continue the lifestyle mm -hmm. something has to change wow, man. you're not perfect man. you're imperfect that's, that's right you have to be perfect and there's only one way to be perfect and through as accepting the blood of Jesus Christ not only accepting it but applying it there's two different things I accept it it's mine thank you Jesus but have you applied it to yourself that's it right there my that's true. I could buy you a t-shirt and you say thank you for this t-shirt I love this t-shirt 
and then you put it in the closet. But it will do you no good until you put it on and put it on and apply it to yourself. Yes. Tuck it in. Yes. Wash it, clean it, take care of it. Uh -huh. This is the gift of God that was given to me. You wow. take care of it. Wow. Wow. You clean it. Yes, you allow it to clean you. I just wanted to point out that this character he's so awesome just put in your mind a man of 75 years old yes. and that was his justification we can find this is the shadow of what was to come man. And, and God is testifies in the scriptures even to this man he goes he was called out of yes. at 75 partying there was partying there's banquets there was idol worshiping there was nothing about this man. man. You look at this man and you pass him up. Yes. Many people are looking to a man. They look to a man nowadays. They want to see a man in a tight pants and nice curly hair, whatever it may be, looking like a, whatever, a, like a TV evangelist or whatever it may be. Maybe for a man to come out in a Bentley and to step out. That's what they're looking for. Wow. But God called a man at 75 years old. He justified him. Yes. He says... In the second verse, and I will make thee, I will bless thee. There's nothing about him doing it himself. Yes, sir. He said, I will. Amen. That's why it's so beautiful. God did it for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was, he yeah. cursed. This is put it. He cursed. He went to party. Maybe he even drank. Maybe he did whatever it was. But God elected him to show God's hand in him. Amen. Then we go to uh, to sanctification. We can find that in in, in um, uh, his sanctification in in fifteen Genesis fifteen. Then he goes on to where where we started off was chapter seventeen. Mm -hmm. There, that is the new birth, the circumcision. Amen. We'll read, we'll read this right here. Yeah. And when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abram fell on his face and God talked with him, yeah. saying, that, that speaks... How many can go into their prayer closet and fall on their face? As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Amen. Neither shall thy name, yes. thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceedingly Amen. fruitful. And I will make nations of thee. And kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee. You see that you hear that I will? I will. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? I will. I will. I see Abraham is just, I can see this Abraham just looking with his eyes. <laughs> with his eyes. Just open up wide. You will, you will. That's <laughs> man. I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Yeah. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, in the in their generations for an everlasting covenant. <laughs> to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. Amen. Verse 9. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou 
and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed. After thee, every man child among you shall be circumcised. Yes. And ye shall circumcise the flesh of your foreskin. And it shall be a token of the covenant betwixt me and you. And he that is in eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child in your generations. He that is born in the house or brought with money or bought in with money of any stranger which is not of thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with thy money must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for an everlasting covenant. Yeah. And the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that soul shall be cut off from the people. He hath broken my covenant. Amen. That is something to, to ponder on right there. Mm -hmm. Actually, also the word is to cut off. I believe it is in the Hebrew and the Greek. It says to, to, to kill, to do away. Okay. It's beautiful that right there it says that how God chose the eighth day. God and yeah. science is barely right. science barely right now. Not barely, but has 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 proven the word of God. That on the eighth day, that the coagulation within the body is at its highest at eight days. Yes, so when God says, do it on the eighth day, that the circumcision to the child, it says he knows that his his within his blood, it is called pro throbbing. That is the the, the chemical within the body that is at its highest that when the child or the skin is cut it coagulates and it, and it, and it scabs wow. it heals so God is perfect even in his word science even Amen. proved yes, why God chose the eighth day Amen. That, 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 that a human being that's why he says when everybody it was a, when Joshua crossed over Jordan <laughs> there was a circumcision uh, circumcision day I don't want to say a, circum a circumcision party yes. everybody had to rest that day yes. every man had rested until they were their strength was returned yes. could you imagine that I don't even want to imagine that but now today is the circumcision of the heart Amen. that changes a man that's the baptism of the Holy Ghost Amen. that comes and cuts the heart Yes. Cuts that foreskin of your heart, Amen. that bitterness, that roughness, Amen. that stern, Amen. that that honoriness of you. Amen. That's what has to be cut off. That's what has to change. Though you were justified, you still smoke, you still drink, and then you still maybe even cuss. But you are justified. Amen. Then you're sanctified by the Amen. blood. Yes. You're cleansed by the washing of the water of the word. Amen. You're preparing your vessel. You're preparing your vessel to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And then the yeah. most dangerous part of sanctification is having an empty vessel. Wow. Yeah. Like when the like uh, mortgage people and, and, and uh, people that are in real estate and real estate, the most horrible thing for uh, uh, a house is yes, for them That's is right. a house to stay on the market empty. Uh -huh. Why? It's because squatters will come in. Because people come in and start stripping all the copper out. Because that's why it's it's a need to start doing things. We got to put your, your house on the market. We got to make sure it's this way and what people want. Sometimes you you can't just sell your house. You got to beautify it so people that come into it don't have to do a thing. Yes. So you spend money in order to try to make money, mm. but that's how it goes right now. You just can't sell your house now because if you if you have it outdated, they're gonna look at it. It's an outdated house. I don't want to have to work on it. But it doesn't matter how outdated your house is. I'm talking about this house right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, now I'm switching right now. Those that are watching, right now, no matter how outdated, how yes. ruined your house is, man, it's, man. it's it's it's. I don't care if you say, man, I'm a fixer upper. I need a lot of fixing. I'm telling you the truth. All of us need a lot of fixing. All of us, every single one of us, need a lot of fixing. That's why God is the author. He is the author and finisher of our faith. We're not, there's nothing within us that we could do to help ourselves. 
We are, we are like sheep. That's why God wants us to be like sheep. Yes, he wants to do the leading. Yeah. He wants to do the healing. He yeah. wants to do the feeding. He wants to do all the things because He is the awesome Father. Yeah. He is the pastor. He gives you what He takes you where to eat. He takes you where to drink. He gives you what to eat. He gives you what to drink. He gives you how to dress yourself. Yes, Everything that's a, a, how to walk, how to conduct yourself. Everything is in the Word of God right here. And it's beautiful. There was nothing about Abraham in himself <laughs> that he could do. God did it all for him. All the way to the point of adoption. The adoption is when he took his son Isaac. And he says that he was not he was not going to spare his only begotten son. He was told to sacrifice it, sac sacrifice it, and kill him. Wow. To that very moment that he was going to plunge that knife right into his son Isaac, that he still he had faith because he told his servants, "Wait here, yes. my son and I yes. shall return." Amen. That's the kind of faith that he had. <laughs> Though he said, he didn't tell Isaac. He didn't tell Isaac Man. that hey, I'm going to sacrifice you, son. He says, where is the, he goes, we have the wood, Father. We have the fire. Yes. But where is the sacrifice? Amen. He said, the Lord God will provide. And he, and he went there with so much faith. And then, can you imagine the son so obedient? Yes. Wow. Nowadays, they said, I'm going to tie you up, son. I'm going to lay you down. Oh, you're crazy. I'm going to call 911 right now. <laughs> That's what they would do. And I'm not asking you to do that. That's right. But nowadays, if somebody said, well, how preposterous. He didn't mean that. God meant this. That's where they, that's where they mess up. Yes. They add their own theology. Yes. Oh, he wasn't psychologically all there. He was, maybe he had some, um, what do you call them? Al Alzheimer's? Or whatever he may, maybe they, they'll try to say that. Bye. They took away from the word of God and they inserted it. When the Word of God says that he was willing to sacrifice his only begotten son, Amen. the promised son, yes. and then he told his work, his 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 servants, yes. my son and I shall return. Amen. And when he was about to plunge that knife, and out of the heavens, an angel of the Lord, Abraham, Abraham, stay your stay Amen. your hand. Yes. Now I know that you fear me. Amen. And you believe me. Fear. Nowadays people don't fear the Lord anymore. Amen. Wow. They have no, they're not reverent to the Lord. Man, that's right. Mm, God help us, Lord. They, they, they blaspheme him. Wow. Well, the new King James, oh, it hurts so much. I, can we get another translation so we can water it down? <laughs> I'll be closing with this. I told you it's going to, I have a, this is a hero. How many remember the title? Man. Witness the beginning of perfection. Yeah. That's why I chose Abraham. It is beautiful. It was happening at Jubilee. From if I could tell you what was happening inside my office, <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, glory, vibrations of the Holy Ghost, and this and that. It was me having to die. <laughs> Israel and the church. If you want to put this down. Now, now, when when I say it, me having to die, don't don't say, oh, it's that one. He was sinning. He was doing this. <laughs> the bills had to get out of my head. The job had to get out of my head. Uh, the, all the chores and things that had I had to get out of my head. Before, that's what I'm talking about. Having to die. The gumbia is playing and, and bumping in the back. <laughs> You'd have to filter that out. <laughs> Israel and the church, number one. 1953, 0325. Abraham, I have done it already. It ain't nothing you've got to do. I've done it myself. Amen. Amen. Oh my, when I think of that, yes. God did it himself. Amen. Unconditional. Additional. That's what I'm looking at. But, uh, that's what I'm pointing at. Don't look at yourself. God has done it all Himself. Man. It's unconditional. Yes. 
I don't care what you have done or what everybody tells says that you are. I don't care what the law has painted a picture and said you are this. I don't care what kind of title they've given you. If there is an unconditional Amen. covenant that God had made himself. Amen. Oh my, when I think of that, God did it himself. Unconditional. God's, God's covenant is unconditional. Yes, man. What? It's unconditional. But a condition. Man. Only believe. 1954. How many got that quote? Man. Men, there was nothing that you could have done. God did it already. Man. 1954, 06 The unconditional covenant that God made with his people. Paragraph 73. The, the father Abraham was the first one that I know of. This side of the flood that was called by grace. Yes. By election. God chose Abraham. Man. Not because he was Abraham. Not because he was a, any good person. God chose him because he was elected. God did it. Paragraph 83. So God so determined. This is so beautiful. So God so determined to save the people. He made this covenant. He was determined to save man. Man, yes. God is so determined to save men and women man. that are lost in the world man. that he's done everything for you. Yes. Amen. So that you, all you have to do is believe man. and by faith take his word that he has done it already. Yes. He yes. paid the price. Oh. You don't have to pay the price. Don't punish yourself anymore. You come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You place your burdens at the feet of Jesus Christ. And say from here and now then Lord Jesus. I walk away trusting on your word. That you paid the price. You did it all. And you walk in his grace. An unmerited favor yes. towards mankind. Man. Grace. That's what we're talking about. Grace. Grace. So yes. God so determined to save the people. He made this covenant. He was determined to save man. So he made it unconditionally. Man. He swore by himself not to have the man to do anything into it. <laughs> Amen. Man. Paragraph 83. I, I, I have to repeat this. Because it was good for me. Wow. <laughs> it's good for you. Man. This will take all this self garbage of being perfected. This will take you'll take that mink coat or whatever, and you'll stop walking with your nose up in the air. So if it rained, you drown. Man. You'll start looking at each one of your footsteps reverently and patiently. You say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's not what you have done, it's what He has done. Yeah, man. Take your eyes off of yourself and look to Jesus. Man. Jesus. And Jesus, I'm not calling you any, I'm not telling you anyone else. Jesus is the word. My, my. Amen. Amen. Paragraph 83. I'm going to read it again because it's so beautiful. So God so determined to save the people. He made this covenant. He was determined to save man. So if you have a family member or a wife or a husband that you think is unsavable, there's something right here. Wow. Take this to heart. Man. And say, you, <laughs> You can say there's there is Glory. power yes, right here. Man. If God can save me, yeah. He can save them. Mm -hmm. I don't care how psychotic they are. What did He do to the man in the gathering? That's right. He stepped off the boat. Two thousand demons. Man. Even the most the most the hardest one to to um, to cast out the religious demon. Oh, yeah. The religious demon that presented himself and kneeled and said. Oh, what have you to do with us, thou son of the most high? The devils recognized him. And yes. the Pharisees right. and the Sadducees. And all those, they call them Beelzebub. Wow. Uh, wow. Yes. 
And he said, what is your name? We are Legion. Mm. Get out of here. Amen. He was determined to save man. So he made it unconditionally. He swore by himself not to have the man to do anything into it. Amen. Amen. Not you have to come and light a candle or say you walk on your knees a mile long and Don't say you. all this. No. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Mary, Mary, this, that, up and down, left and right. No, 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 none of that. God did it himself. Amen. If you're doing that, get away from that. God did it himself. It is an unconditional covenant. Amen. The faith of Abraham, 1959-0415. Paragraph 40. Now, you look at Jesus and find any fault in him. Wow. Don't look at yourself. Look at Him. Don't look who you are. Look who He is. Amen. 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 Continuation of paragraph 40. Then you'll, then you'll be getting close to divine healing. Search your sacrifice over. Amen. Search the scriptures. Yes. If you can find any fault in that, well, that's that's different. Then you have a right to disbelieve. But there is no fault in him. Right. God don't look at you. Amen. He looked at the sacrifice. There was a perfect one. Died for us, faltry ones. We who are dis disfigured and immoral and ugly and everything wow. I like those words he used because if you find yourself in that position this is this will help you but there is no fault in him God don't look at you he looked at the sacrifice there was a perfect one wow. died for us faltry ones Amen. we who are disfigured with sin and immoral with sin and ugly with the results of sin Mark. and everything. Yes. But he took the perfect one and looked him over. This is my beloved son Amen. in whom I am well pleased. Yes. He was the sacrifice. God accepted him. So ours is finished. All we have to do is walk in grace. Amen. Let us stand in and the title, Weakness, the Beginning of Perfection. There was nothing that you or I could do. Nothing that man could do. But God did it all. Yes, sir. So perfect that he offered up that lamb of sacrifice. He was introduced and he came as when John the Baptist had screamed out, Behold, the lamb Amen. that taketh away the sin of the world. Yes, sir. He, be he came in that title, the lamb. Amen. Then also, there is one amongst you who will baptize Amen. you with the Holy Ghost on fire. Yes. He is the one that will baptize you with the Holy Ghost on fire. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your word, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, that you continue your work, Lord Jesus. Lord, as we open up our hearts, Lord Jesus, to your word, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. For there is none like you, Lord. No man, no woman, no church, Lord Jesus. Oh, but your precious word, Lord Jesus. You creator of heaven and earth became in the weakest form. You came in the weakest form. Man. First a little child and grew up. And then you came and took our sins and went to the cross, Lord Jesus. Shed your blood, your perfect blood, Lord Jesus. And the last words, forgive them, Lord. They know not what they do. Amen. It is finished. Yes. It is finished. Amen. Stop torturing yourself. Walk in the word of God. Walk in his grace that he's given you. Lord, we thank you for your love and mercy, Lord Amen. Jesus. We, we ask for those that are watching, Lord Jesus, that you touch them, Lord. Lord, we ask that you... I'm going to mention a few states, Lord. Wisconsin. 
going to mention Uganda. There's a couple places in Africa, Lord Jesus, also that we've received emails from, Lord Jesus, asking for this teachings and, and, and people confessing, saying, I have family members that are police officers in Mesa. I have a daughter and a niece that is walking the streets in Tempe. And that's coming from Wisconsin. Lord, we take them, Lord Jesus. These people are crying. The title was Seeking Revival. Seeking Revival. Lord Jesus, keep their soul aflame, Lord Jesus. I take their names to you in prayer, Lord Jesus. Lord, I ask that you deal with them and work with them, Lord. Lord, I ask all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we give the Lord a clap offering? Brother Alex, do you want to say a few words? No. You may be seated. We, uh, we've been having a, a jubilee with uh, the messages that have been coming through. Our, our missionary, Brother Ernie uh, the Sr., started with that uh, one of the, uh, the title was Perfection. Perfection. And um, it started something that, that uh, it, it just kept bubbling up, opening up, and we couldn't stop it. And we know that uh, I hope you feel that way. If you if you go back to this a uh, couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago at the most, um, you can you can pick it up and find out exactly what we're talking about. And um, so we continue there in Nacogdoches and to the people there that were praying. I talked to Brother Bosque and also he had a melody there at one time, and I told him this is what I had, and but we'll be praying for you. And Brother Stem is going to be praying for you also, so we'll we'll have you in prayer. And, um, and it has to do with dizziness, dizziness but, but if, if I keep giving, going into details, I'm very detail-oriented, and I'll take too much time, and then I'll even get lost. So I want to get to what I want to say right now to you. Okay? I want to talk to you, not as your brother, and not as a pastor, but as a person that is concerned with you, with yourself, as I'm concerned about myself. Because I always say, I have problems because we're all cut different. We're all so different that we we're very we become judgmental, and I've been there. Okay, so I I, I don't want to be judgmental. And when that word perfection came, it was, it was so beautiful. I start I start looking at things differently, and um, not that I have it in the past, but it just it's a revival. That's that's the word I wanted to use. Something that's there at one time. Yeah. And it's revived. It's coming back, man. But it, it's not my temperament to be a pastor. But it's my. I have. I'm cut different, just like Brother Esteban. But I didn't go to like Brother Esteban. I went a different way. I went the holy way. I went my way, my satisfaction. And my satisfaction was not to drink, not to smoke, and not to be a womanizer. And I thought I was okay, but I was wrong. In 19, 1980, he told me, but you're lost. Wow. He told me. I didn't hear a voice, but he spoke to this heart. Yeah. And thank the Lord. For those of you that want, want to follow the revival there in Phoenix, Arizona. 1980, Brother Ernie? Was it 80 or 81? 81. 81, because in 80, I was still a deputy sheriff, and that's what the Lord told me, I was, you're wrong, you're, you're, you're lost. Anyway, if you believe it, it's there on the internet. It's there, Brother Garcia preached it. My daddy was there, Brother, all the brothers were there. But but that's another story. What I'm trying to give to you right now is a simple, simple thing. Okay. And, and you know, we, we have, we all have problems. And um, we all 
carry something. Man. We're carrying something. And Brother Esteban, he said, he went to Hebrews 12. <laughs> Wherefore, seeing ye also are encompassed about so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. That's what I want to say. Man. Let us lay aside every weight. Man. Man. Okay, in the sin of unbelief. You know, we used to preach at this, Brother Ernie. Let us smoking and drinking and guess not. And, and, and it's and that we found out for the message, Brother Ram said, God said it. This prophet spoke it. And we believe it. Man. And now it's a revival. Now I understand that it's not smoking and drinking or doing that or the other. Man. It's not believing the whole word of God. Man. You know, and, and we we just and we got these problems. And you know, and Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever. Yeah. In Mark 2, and again he marked, he entered the Capernaum. This is Jesus again. Because everywhere Jesus is, there's this little noise going on. Man. Okay? And straightway, and, and I'm gonna cut it short here, because it's just the thought that, that the Lord gave me, and I said, I can't believe what he's doing. <laughs> Jesus, first of all, is in the house. Man. Man. He's in your house. He's in the churches. Man. They go to worship God because Jesus is there also. Man. If the word is being preached, I don't care who they are, what church, what name, if they come to worship Jesus, honor the resurrection, Man. and they're preaching the word at their level, whatever it is, Jesus is in the house. Man. And there are people, genuine people, who want to, I'm talking to you Nacogdoches and those other people out there I'm talking to you because I want you to understand, I don't care what church you go to, where you're at go to that church be faithful, Man. give your tithing, Man. give your offerings yes. give it all you got oh, because one of those days you'll, you'll have your last heartbeat yes. and you were born here with a purpose and that purpose is to worship God with all your strength Amen. what is your purpose? And this is why we went into the triune being. Because we don't even know who we are. We don't, we don't know who we are. We don't. You know, that's why we went to that, brother, I, brother. And I think it's God's present us, not only in the ministry, but each ministry, each measurement of the measurement of grace that He's given each and every one of us. We're not cut the same. We're not all the same. We don't have to follow each other. We need to follow Jesus. We heard it this morning. Yeah. And Jesus was in the house. And he was talking there. Yeah. And he was people wanted to go because they were there. And Friday, there was no place to go. They couldn't go into the door. Yeah. And people are going to church today. Jesus is already in the house. And there are many gathered there. Yeah. But you're all alone. You can't even get in there because the deacon's going to mistreat you. Ah. Or the usher's going to look at you ugly. Ah. And, you, and you walk away. Ah. Please don't tell me any different because I've been there. I had a lady there at the church one day. She comes... Where are you going, sister? Where are you going, sister? She said, well, the deacons, they, 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 they treat me real bad. No, 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 come on. They just, I got my wife, Olga, we said, let's go in. Come on, we're okay. They, 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 they're having a problem. There's too many people out there. Wow. You see what I'm saying? There's too many people. They don't, there's no time for you. Right. But you're going to go to hear the word of God. Yeah. And the devil is the, the word. The devil, that's his job. You have to know that. Yes, sir. This is you and me. I'm the same guy. My right hand's over here, my left hand here. Wow. But they're at opposite. I do right with my right hand because I do the right thing. This guy over here at the opposite end, he's always against me. <laughs> and that's the devil. I'm not talking about you now, but I want you to understand. That's a simple way of putting it. Because it's the simplicity of the gospel yeah. that we're trying to get to you. And as you go there, you're going to be relieved. 
because you're a triune being. Maybe your body needs healing. Maybe your spirit, what's driving you crazy. Your, your, your memory comes to you with bad things. Yes. Your imaginations, yes. your conscience, your affections, and your reasoning. Right. And you're all messed up. Right. But in your soul, Amen. there's a free will. Amen. There's a free will right. that God placed in that soul of yours. Yes. And you can choose. Right. I'm not talking about election. I'm not thinking you went to the back where you were predestinated. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about right now. Man. You have a right to say, yes, I will follow you, Jesus. Man. Yeah. Yes, I am Freddy and I'm going to be here today. Man. But there's opposition. Yes, sir. There, there, you can't get in. Because why? The Pharisees are in there. The Man. demons are there. They're, 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 they're one, they're one, they get to your head. They, they drive you crazy. Yes. The Bible says, Many were there. I think it's an extra sister. There it is right there. It's Smart 2 by those, those, of, those of you that want to follow it at home. Okay? Right. St. Mark 2. It's Matthew and then Mark. Okay? In, the, in the New Testament. Okay, First book, second book. Okay? <laughs> and straightway, many were gathered there. There's a lot of people there in church. They're, they're yeah. in church. They're, they're having church in the house because Jesus... And he started preaching to them. Man, yes. He didn't have time. Man. Because Jesus knows his he knows his prop, he knows his commission and his mission. Man. And that's what Man. he had to do. He had to preach. Yes. He wasn't worried about the deacons or the or, or the pastor or this or that and the other. What order, what what was going on. He was just looking for faith because Man. he was preaching about faith. Man. And there was no room, no room to receive them. Yes. And there's no room to receive you out there. Because there's opposition. You want to go to church. You want to do the right thing. But the devil, the tequila, or the needle, whatever it is, is against you. It's the opposite. But you're three, remember that. You're fighting yourself. And you'll fight yourself all the way to hell. But Jesus Christ in the gospel says in Mark 16, Repent, you gotta come. He that believeth in me, he believeth in Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. He that believeth in me shall be saved. And he that's baptized and identifies himself. Yeah. You need to identify yourself with Jesus Christ uh -huh. in water baptism. Yes, uh -huh. In the burial, in the burial, as in the tomb, and the washing of the body of the lamb and the sacrifice that was heard this morning. He was a perfect sacrifice. Uh -huh. Man. But he resurrected. Yeah, and he resurrected for one purpose, to give you life. Yeah, to give you life and to give you strength to be able to do the right things. Man. And not to listen to the opposite guy. Because yeah, he's there all the time. Yeah. He's near you. Yes, yeah, sir. And not so much as about the door, according to the Bible I'm reading to. There was no room to receive them. Not so much as about the door. But the door was inside already. Amen. The door is Jesus Christ. Amen. And it was preaching to them. Somebody got it. Amen. Somebody got it and they laid the weight. They went up and they took off their yes. They took off their clothes. They took off their covering. Yes. They took off their religion. Yes. Well, I can't go to your church. Well, I can't go there. You know, what am I going to do? Right. But they took off their religion. I says, forget it. I need Jesus. I don't care if, they're, right. if I preach like a crazy way out there. Right. Of course, those, those crazy people out there. Right. And that's what people, that's what you hear. They're calling you a Jesus only. They're saying you're going to be a hallelujah. You need to go to church. Yes. Doesn't matter what church you go to. Go to church. Hear the word of God. If God, if the word says, Jesus is right, Jesus is the way, you say, Amen. Man. You won't be in there too long if I kick you out because you're you're saying Amen to, to the word. Man. But you know, wherever there's life, there's a lot of noise going on. Man. And Jesus is real. When you become real in your life, Man. you can't stop it. Man. And you preach the word unto them. 
Verse 3, sister. Please go to work. I'm sorry, sister. Go to number 2 again. The Bible says, there was no room to receive them. Right. Comma. No. Comma. God is in grammar. Anytime you start a sentence with no, you put a comma. Every time you, you start a word with yes, you put a comma. God is in grammar. God is in his word. God is in everything. It's the simplicity of the gospel of the word. Not only does it set you straight, it puts you with the right words, with the right grammar. No more cussing. Only the right words, only the right things to do. Sister Dick Street, as I stop. And they came unto him. They couldn't come to him, but they had to go up first to the roof, right. which is the covering of the house, which you were, you're a house, you're a triune house, you're a body, soul, and spirit. you got to take off that garbage thinking. All that religion. Did you say? That's right. Brother Seven had just talked. The man from the gathering. He came to him with 2,000 demons right. and he kneeled down oh what are you doing to the most holy one what are you doing to us right. so it doesn't matter how much religion you got right. like brother Alex had this religion right. I'm a good guy oh yeah a real good guy you know I have no smoke no drink oh, no tequila oh, I'm a good guy these guys are a bunch of <laughs> wow. I didn't say it with my words but I walked it because I was a good guy yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I want you to listen to. You got a drug addict on one side, and you got a holy addict in his own garbage mind that is so lost and thinking he's right. And I was lost. This guy over here, drug addict, no good for nothing. Go in the prison, ready to go, serve some time. If you made it alive, I said enough. You check it out, okay? You people in Nacogdoches, you've been blessed. Wow. The Lord is good. It's good to you. And those of you that have, are understanding or beginning to open your eyes that it's not the man, it's the Word of God. Wow. Follow the word of God. This is true. If the man follows this true, you follow that man. You follow that pastor. If he follows this. I'm not saying it because of this, that, or the other. No. I'm saying it because in Mark 2, there it is. The simplicity of the gospel. Lay aside the weight. And they wait. They lay the weight. But they have to uncover the roof. You got to take it all off. Take it away. Yes, the only way he can see light because he wants to see you in action he wants to see your faith yeah. he wants to see your faith if you got a cancer I feel so badly about that sister but God knows everything I'm not there Man. daddy was daddy was dying of the cancer brother Bradham said you got cancer yes. brothers let's pray for our, our, our brother took him by the hand my daddy said within his heart he said he believed he threw away all the unbelief and he said I believe man, that man. brother Brown is going to pray for me I'm going to be healed yes. hey, that's faith faith in action yes. there's faith in action doesn't matter who you are this still is against El Shaddai and that's what happened right there man. Jesus Christ God himself showed himself as El Shaddai there in the book of Genesis. Man. And he nourished Abraham with two breasts. Yes. One for healing and one for salvation. Man. And the devil is fighting us right now. Man. He's saying there is no El Shaddai. Man. Let me tell you, the Lord Jesus Christ is real and is still a healer and he ain't going to change for you. We need to change for him. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for these words of encouragement. Bless the people out there, Lord Jesus. I trust that they understand a little bit. But they can check it out there in Mark 2. It's true. The Word of God is true.
we, we bless them and, and ask for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Brother Stelm, Brother, Brother Fetty, one of these days, if you don't want mine, if you're not afraid, I know you're not afraid because we've been there, okay? We've been in prison. Both of us have been in prison. We know what we're talking about. Give us a testimony, okay? What God has done in your life. You need, you need to put it up there. You need to identify yourself with them. God will open the rest for you, okay? God bless you, brothers. Wow. God bless you. Let us give the Lord a clap offering. Amen. <laughs> Let us stand to. I'll be rest. Let us let us sing. I'm pressing on. Sing on.
You may be seated. Amen. Listen, when we all get to heaven. exactly what you have need of in this very moment. Uh, let us bow our heads and then we'll sing Take the Name of Jesus with you. God bless you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you once again, Lord Jesus, for all that you have given us, Lord, for preparing a table, Lord, that we can go to, Lord, and, and come and dine, Lord Jesus. Come and eat of the, breath of the bread of life, Lord Jesus giving us the breath of life, Lord, thy Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, giving us the strength, Lord. Lord, we ask that you continue to build the faith in those that are watching, Lord, and those that are here. Lord, we ask that you dismiss us from this place, but never from thy presence, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask all things, and we keep once again each and every one who asks for prayer. 
Lord, we ask that you be there very present, Lord Jesus, at the surgery of Brother Ernie, Lord Jesus. We ask that you be there, Lord, and, and guide the hands and also give them a recovery, Lord Jesus, a speedy recovery, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all things. We thank you for each and every one here. We, we love them, Lord. We love those that are watching. We ask that you bless them, Lord, up, above Above all, Lord Jesus, we ask that you heal them, save them, Lord. Help them to accept it, Lord, their pardon. Lord, we ask all things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Let us sing. Take the name of Jesus with you. Let us bless you.